Hello Sagittarius, thanks for tuning in to your Who is Checking Up on You slash Spying on You tarot reading. We're going to be having a look to see who's trying to do a bit of stalking here, who's trying to see what you've been up to, who you're seeing, what's new in your life. I'll be using a couple of different decks. We'll start off with the Rider Waite deck to see who this person is. Okay, it could be a Capricorn coming through in the cards here. Uh, we've got the Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh, there was a lot of unfair treatment between you and this person. They could potentially still not be over what happened between the both of you. Okay, Knight of Chalices has come up twice. Okay, with the Ten of um, Chalices. Okay, this person might have been someone you rejected, someone that you dumped or someone that you left behind. Now, it may be a connection that sort of started off physical. Um, it could have been like a friends with benefits type attraction. It could have been just a lustful attraction here. But the message I'm getting is that it was very one-sided. And I get the sense that this person with the Ace of Pentacles, I see the hands that are reaching out from the sun. Essentially, this is a reaching out of some kind. Now, this person in the recent past or in the very near or immediate future, this person is going to be reaching out. The hands is like a message of support, of communication um, and extending the olive branch, so to speak. Um, so I think you have been in contact with this person. I think there's someone who is still pursuing you or has tried to pursue you very much so, Sagittarius. Um, maybe even twice, okay? You may have had a fling with them. You may have um, been with them intimately a number of times, but I'm getting the number two because of the two nights here. Or you may have even had two connections with this person. Could it be two different people? Maybe. It's a possibility. Um, but I'm getting overall with the Ten of um, Chalices. This person thought the two of you could have been very happy together. But I'm getting from the overall energy that they were invested too much to a point where it potentially scared you away. I'm talking obsessive thoughts. I'm talking about moving the relationship so quickly. I'm talking about moving in together next day, getting married. Like it was all wham, 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 wham. Like it just happened so quickly. And they're still in this kind of energy. Do you have contact as of now? I think they have reached out fairly recently or like they will. I don't think it's been you. I think it's been them, um, to be honest. The Ace of Pentacles next to them would indicate you did at some point have a stable con commitment with this person or the prospect of a relationship, of a marriage or some sort of binding union did come up in the cards here. Maybe even a legal settlement, a visa, um, an engagement. You were somehow linked together is what I want to say. Was it the healthiest of ways? Maybe not. Okay, I see it's someone who was either emotionally unsteady or well, you had a very turbulent connection, Sag. It didn't work out the way you wanted it to. And I think with the devil and the six of pentacles, I'm getting a sense that it was somehow forced, that emotionally someone galloped into the connection much more than the other person. And I sense that it's them, okay? Um, I, th I still feel like they're holding on to a few things, but I think especially if you have mutual friends with this person, they're using that, you know, they're sort of extending their arm, extending their curiosities and working vicariously through this person, meaning they're asking these mutual friends or family members or colleagues of yours information about you. They could also still be telling people you're still together. Um, you know, I don't think it's rumors or lies, but I think there's someone here who hasn't sort of come to terms with the two of you splitting or parting ways. They're still hopeful of a happily ever after he said. Um, we see the Ten of Cups. This could also be, you know, I love the Knight of Cups because there's a purity with that Knight. And the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Chalices is saying to me, this person honestly wishes you well. I don't think they have ill will. I just think somewhere along the way, they've sort of lost track of their emotions and either became too overwhelmed with how things were playing out or didn't really know how to express themselves in a healthy manner. And that's why things worked out um, the way they did. Um, but I can see with the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, this person might be showing generosity to you. Um, 
maybe that's their way of seeing what you've been up to. You know, they want to send you nice things. They want to sort of surprise you. Maybe that's their way of keeping tabs on you. Uh, but I think it's more they may be inquiring about friends. I think emotionally they're going through a lot. Yes, but... Um, I feel like it's more someone that has directly reached out rather than spying on you behind the scenes. That's the message that I get. I think there's an honesty to this person. And I think you've had contact and I don't think they're doing this behind your back. I think anything they sort of feel, be it good, be it bad, be it insecurities or be it strengths, I think they are in a position to tell you how they really feel. So. Um, I mean, that's the positive to take, to take out of this reading, I suppose. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, and I think they are in a somewhat desperate situation. We see people begging and pleading. This is someone that may have begged to be with you. This is someone that may have begged you to stay in touch with them, um, pleaded. So... Yeah, that's that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting from this this person here. Mm, it can be a Libra with the scales. The six of pentacles can represent Taurus as well. So Libra, Taurus and Capricorn energy. Maybe things got too complex. Notice how he's coming up to a peak. Maybe this this person was emotionally very complex. Maybe too complex for you, Sag. And perhaps that was one of the ways why you parted ways. I think a connection did exist, something that linked the two of you together. So you obviously, at one point in time, you had something together. And I think the person is still reliving these things. They're still holding on to something. And I think there's a lot of hope with this person. Emotionally, it could be that they're still in love with you. Okay, they're still attached, thinking about you. They're wishing you well. Um... And they, they do want to reach out. They do. But it the numerous arms would indicate they know the same people that you know. Or there's numerous people that are reaching out to you and perhaps asking how you are. And then that information is coming back to this person. So they could be working. The devil works through mysterious ways. So it can be that they're working through these people to find out things about you is what I'm seeing. I will complete your reading at that though. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video and of course to subscribe to the channel and join my YouTube family um, to receive updates for readings for your sign. Um, otherwise, I really appreciate you being here and joining me um, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. So thanks again, Saj, and bye for now.